Hello and welcome everyone. Today I will be going over the Real Simulator R3 Lightning and F16 stick and how it functions in DCS in the Viper. But first, before we begin in the cockpit, I am going to quickly go over the settings in the software. Now keep in mind, I have been adjusting these quite often since I've gotten this setup. And I'm still trying to find the best overall feel for myself. Some of you may desire lower sensitivity or higher sensitivity. It just all depends on the preferences of the user. For a basic start, I've set both the roll and pitch sensitivity to 4.33 pounds and 4.90 pounds, respectively, and changed the NASA roll sensitivity to 130%. I've enabled precision mode and adjusted that percentage to 50%, as you can see specified here. This will allow a little room for error, in my opinion, for an individual that is first learning the joystick and creates a good starting point. If you wish to copy these settings, feel free to take note of everything that I've set so far. The first thing to note, while you use your R3 or R3 Lightning, it will give you a warning sound when you're reaching your pressure limit for the settings you've specified. This is not the absolute limit of the stick, so don't freak out too much when you hear the warning sound come on. It's just telling you that your stick is at its max limit, so any added pressure is not creating more input. Think of it as you reaching your travel limit of a normal joystick. Again, the slow beep just means that you're close to the limit, while the faster beeping means that you are at your absolute limit. So, let's go ahead and fire up DCS and jump into the Viper. Alright, so here we are in the cockpit of the Viper. I'm going to go ahead and contact the tanker and initiate pre-contact. Obviously, since it's not working, I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I have initiated pre-contact. Go ahead and move in. Open the fuel door. We've been given the green light to go ahead and tank with the AC-135. Just by the way, I'm a little out of practice with tanking with the F-16 with a normal boom refueler. I'm used to basket refueling. Obviously, as you can tell, the boom hasn't extended. The KC-135 has bugged for whatever reason in this server. I tried instant missions and it was still kind of having the same problems. Still working on my skill with tanking mid-turn. Just kind of trying to be gentle with the stick. So I can just... Glide my way into the slot. That's so annoying. <laughs> Any extra quick movements, by the way, is all just PIO. That's still me working on my technique. Since I've been pretty out of practice with DCS lately. Looks like he's leveling out. Okay, that's a little... A little sloppy. I apologize. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and finally try. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit closer. At right, this point in time, it's mainly just a matter of flying the formation. You don't want to focus on the basket or the boom. Because if in the event that you do that, you just start having a lot of issues with bouncing back and forth and chasing your target rather than flying the formation. 
And that's also obvious in the AH-64 video that was released by WAGS recently, where you'll notice the bobbing and weaving of the uh, symbology in the HUD, where he's just kind of chasing this little ball to keep the hover going. And it's bouncing all every which way. That's a clear indication that the pilot is not focusing on flying in formation or flying the hover. He's focusing on the symbology or a reference point and just target fixating. Also relevant in motorcycles. Again, boom is not attached, but we're focusing on flying the formation just so you guys can get an idea of how the stick is in DCS. This is just the normal settings that I have configured in the program that I gave to you guys earlier. It's really simple, really easy. Just you can be excessive with it or you can be soft and gentle with it and it will respond exactly the way that you expect it to respond. Right, so go ahead and detach and pull off to the right. Quote unquote detach, I should say. Since we never actually got contact with the tanker for whatever reason it's having issues. Thank you for joining me in this quick video of the F-16 stick inside DCS F-16. So if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to smack that like button, hit the subscribe and the bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. As always, fly safe pilots, and I will see you in the next video. Have a out.